everyone uh, welcome back to another video I am making a layout today as you can see from the pictures and I am going to show you something a little bit different at the start because I wanted to show you how I created the dream capture shape now I opened the um, January cut files in my silhouette studio and I uh, modified the doily so I'm just showing you here that on the um, design page settings you can reveal the cutting mat make it white again um, just by pushing that slider all the way back to zero and I'm just zooming in a bit bit too far and I want to use that doily shape right there so I'm just gonna select and drag all the words and the flower off the the page and I do move the feathers I originally cut the feathers out and you could definitely do that um, I went with um, something else but um, they would definitely uh, uh, do for this project so I just grabbed the um, ellipse tool and holding the shift key down I'm going to create a circle and bring it over to the doily and I'm just going to play around till I get the size that I want and I think the size I end up with was uh, 5.107 inches. And then I'm just going to select uh, both of them and go to the align tool and just center it. Because we're going to do an internal offset. So. Selecting that outside circle, I'm going to go up to the offset window and click internal offset and just keep bumping that internal circle up until it meets the edge of the doily because we want to weld it uh, to the outside circle. So it's very important to make sure that inside circle um, overlaps the doily and I'm going to zoom in and show you in just a bit that looks like and the internal circle uh, internal offset I went with was 0 0.247 so I'm just going to zoom in so I can show you see how the uh, doily is overlapping slightly on that inner circle so I'm going to select the whole lot oh no sorry I'm going to select the two outer circles it's very important and make a compound path so just them two outer circles make compound path and then select the whole shape all three pieces and weld it and you have a dream catcher to work with so uh, i did speed this part up i um i'm using the plastic bag that my kit comes in it's great to do mixed media on and i did I should mention that I did gesso my cardstock. I am using American Crafts cardstock and I tried using the Distress Crayons on it without the gesso and it didn't um, it didn't take too well. I wasn't really happy with it. So clear gesso and then I was just rubbing the, the crayons into it to get the colour that I wanted. And I do go back and play with that a bit more uh, in a bit just getting some layers ready for my photo um i have already scrapped this photo it's when my son was born and he's now 11 and there was a story i wanted to tell i don't do the journaling on camera but uh yeah he's a sleepy baby it was awesome <laughs> he slept all the time so you can see i pulled out those feathers from the kit and i end up going with them and I did want my dream catcher to stand out on that background paper. I used that watercolored um, background paper from the kit. So I wanted my dream catcher to stand out a little bit um, more from the background. So all I did was grab a HB uh, lead pencil and I just kind of shaded around and uh, drew around the edges and I sped this up so you wouldn't have to sit here for ages watching me um, go around all the edges but basically I just wanted to get some definition on them edges so just going to finish that up and I do come back in and use a bit more colour to get it to where I like it So 
So I said before that I did cut out the feathers um, when I cut out my dream catcher shape. But then when I pulled these wood veneer uh, feathers out, I I just really loved it. I loved that it gave a different texture and dimension to the page. And I'm just colouring them up with the distressed uh, crayons, if I can talk. Um, and they worked really well on the, the wood veneer. I just um, had a little bit of water there to help smooth the colour in. And I was just mixing uh, them three colours. I haven't got them with me, but it was the dark blue one, the green, and that um, aqua light blue colour there. And it, yeah, it just took really, really well to the wood veneer. So just playing around with my page and pulling a few bits and pieces from the kit, I wanted to put one of those mandelas in the middle of the dream catcher. Um, and just playing around with the layers on the photo still. Um, fussing about, that's what I do. <laughs> um, and then I think I, oh, that's right, I did pull out some um, mustard, what's it called? Yellow mustard, mustard yellow. Oh, what is it called? The It's the Heidi Swap Color Shine. I wanted a, a tiny bit of yellow in there. So um, I did rub that on the dream catcher and the feathers. And sorry, if you can hear the bus. <laughs> um, but for some reason, I mustn't have pressed record when I was doing that. And I'm just putting the uh, layers together behind the photo. Um, they're all pretty much scraps from working on previous projects. The tissue paper and the vellum are from my stash. That watercolored piece of paper that's under the vellum was left over from when I created a project life spread. But everything else, I because I keep a little basket of scraps when I'm um, working with these kits and they come in handy for projects like this. I decided that my uh, dream catcher needs a little bit more definition so I'm just scribbling some pencil along the edge and um, rubbing it in. I think I do go back in with a bit more distress crayon as well and it's just fun just to play and um, get the colours that you want. Um, work it until you're happy with, with what you got there. Okay, so now I'm ready to attach my feathers to my dream catcher and I just use the twine from the kit and I just grab some glossy accents out and glue it to the back of the feather and then back on the back of the dream catcher.
Now I wanted to create a frame on this pattern paper to uh, frame my layout. I did want to use black so all I did was grab my HB lead pencil and um, I just drew some rough lines on the edges of the page and I also did a bit of scribbling and colouring in in certain bits like there and sorry there's another bus <laughs> um, but I just wanted to make a messy kind of border to frame the, the whole layout. So now that I've used that twine from the uh, kit, it's brought a bit of that dark blue in as well as the mandela's got a bit of that dark blue in it too. So I wanted to bring um, a few more bits of blue into the layout. I think this is from the uh, cut apart sheet and I'm just going to add pops of blue behind the photo and just up in the top kind of right corner there of the layout. And I originally was going to use um, some sequins to scatter about on the actual um, dream catcher part and I remembered we had these rhinestones in our kit so I decorate the whole dream catcher with rhinestones and I absolutely love how this came out. So working up on that little cluster up in the top right uh, corner and these 
uh, all these bits are from the um, ephemera pack or the collectibles I think they're called um, I pulled a bunch out and chose a few and stuck them up in the corner there and then I um, I did grab the enamel shapes that came in the kit and I put one up the top I think it was the heart in light blue I wanted to bring a bit of light blue into the layout you can see I, I fuss around so much <laughs> just up things around a lot <laughs> before committing I do put a um, enamel shape in the middle of the uh, dream catcher and I'm just sticking things down and I'm just taping the string to the back of the, the layout so it looks like the dream catcher is hanging down Now I wanted some splatters on my layout so I grabbed the distress crayons and some of the packaging that the kits came in. I'm just scribbling it on and mixing some water with it and I'm just going to um, splatter some, some of that blue onto the layout. I tried to lift my photo up because I didn't want to splatter on it and it was quite stuck there. So just put a piece of paper over it and then splatter around this um, distress goodness crayon and I also use some of that um, Heidi Swap color shine and there you go the plane my goodness um, the Heidi Swap color shine in the yellow as well and grabbing those rhinestones again I'm just going to scatter them about the page just randomly where some of the splatters of the paint have dropped and lastly I am going to stick down some sequins and that's pretty much it for me today guys um, I hope that you enjoyed and it inspired you some way uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask and I will have um, some slowed down footage <clears throat> excuse me for you to um, check the layout out and some photos and I'll see you guys next time yeah.